I, don't, I do want to see that from a different perspective. <laughs> I love getting amazing crashes. That's not even good enough, that's the thing. Like, right, right there isn't good enough because I... <laughs> I rolled my car, but I rolled it too well. What if I could, if I just creep ever so slightly backwards to about there? Can it put, nah, it doesn't push me out. That's a bugger. That was a sick crash as well. I want to see that again. That was so cool. Look at that. Perfect 360. It work. Try it again. Box, box, box. We're adjusting the strat. Are you alright? Engine off. Engine off. That's more like it. That'll definitely get me underneath the map. See, sometimes when you just do this, you just know what you gotta do to roll your car over. Boop. And if I just press the one button, <laughs> I'm under and I'm away. There we go. Really doesn't take me that long. It's so easy to do this nowadays. Anyway, guys, uh, what's going on? Uh, my name is Foxy United here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys today here on the channel. Today we are now going to be exploring Monza, uh, which was a request of you guys. In fact, I have got it up on my phone actually, unless I have deleted uh, the point. But um, basically, uh, I couldn't help but not do another exploration video. Um, I was going to do a Karima video for today, but. You know, you guys just show way too much love on this series. And I love it, because I'm just exploring random stuff. Uh, anyway, the top comment from the last episode came in from Alex Jagger, who said, Explore Monza and see the other track. His comment got 80 likes, which was the most liked comment. Now, if you guys want me to explore another track on the F1 2019 game, all you've got to do is just drop a comment in the comment section down below. The most liked comment is the one that I'm going to be choosing next. Now... Also, I didn't do it in the last episode, but I will definitely do it for today. If you guys haven't seen any of the other exploration videos, be sure to go and check the playlist, which I will leave a link to, probably in a pinned comment or in the description down below, um, so you guys can go and see that. Um, basically, it will give you an idea. If you guys have never seen any of these exploration videos and this is the first one, you'll be able to see exactly what videos I have done. And some people are now starting to comment a couple of the tracks which we've already done. So if you go and see those, you'll be able to go and watch them if you haven't already had the chance to do so. Anyway, we are here at Monza, and this is the track that I was told to explore next, and that's what we're going to do. But obviously, the main thing is to go and see the other piece of the track, which we'll get onto in just a minute. But first of all, um, I mean, there's my beautiful, beautiful Renault car there, just, just absolutely getting destroyed. Um, so we're going to start on the outskirts of the track, I think. There's not going to be loads for us to go through, but a couple of marshals here just doing their own bits. You can see that they've got a nice, fancy wall. I wonder if this goes all the way across the track. Uh, and then it basically just splits off. You've got this tree, which is like a, a nicely modelled tree. And you can sort of see how they sort of tailor off. I mean, at this point here, you can see how the texture changes from the, the grass piece. This is a little bit weird, though. I'm not going to lie. Oops, that was a bit trippy. Um, I don't know why they shouldn't... Why would they just keep the same colour grass here? I don't know why they've got one style. It's like this style of grass texture here is getting a beam from the sun ray, and then this piece just gets nothing. It looks like a football pitch cutting. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, but we're going to go around and basically have a little nose. So, let's continue. We've got a couple of marshals again hiding in the bush. Uh, so here they are, just doing their own thing. This guy's actually got a yellow flag. Damn. It's like he knew I was going to crash. I think this marshal's probably upset, though, that I have. By the look of his facial expression, he saw, you can see how frustrated he is. It's almost like he realises that this yellow flag is no use to him anymore because he was expecting me to crash around here in the lesbians. Um, but I didn't crash at the lesbians. Uh, we've got a box here, a generator box, which is, of course, planted halfway inside a tree. Now, I know that you're never going to see this because at the end of the day, you're not going to be coming all the way out here. But why would you have a generator box which is put inside a tree? All it would take you, Codemasters, is just two seconds to move this asset, which is what? Just a light lamppost? One of the two? Have I been pushed back in the map? No, I haven't. It's like a light or something like... Whoa, is there a barrier that I'm stuck up? No, don't give me those. Can't be doing with them. Yeah, anyway. Bit weird. Next, we've then got a... Oh, is that a guy? Oh, it's a cameraman! Yo! Hello, my friend. What's up? I didn't know this guy was hiding here. 
He's got a speed camera as well, look. <laughs> if you go too fast, he'll have you. I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, your camera's halfway lodged inside the fence. We'll let you off on that, but yo, this is sick. This is why we explore, because you don't see this stuff. He's, he's got a stepladder to get up as well. He's got his own climate. He's got his own camera set. Yo, this guy's a lad. I love him. Yo, what do we call this guy? I, we need to give this guy a name. This guy deserves a name for his effort. They've actually got a bit of proper texturing on this camera as well. I thought they'd just leave it plain, to be honest. I wonder if... It, I'll tell you what. I wonder on the replay cams, when you go through towards these lesbians. Yes, I call them the lesbians. I know it's uh, Lesmo, but I just call them lesbians or lesbo. Um, what do we call this guy? Yeah, we're going to call him Cameraman Jack. That's going to be his name, all right? Uh, so if you don't want to suggest a track to put in the comment section down below, bang in the comment section down below, Cameraman Jack, you know? Or even if you're going to suggest a comment of what track to do next, be sure to use Cameraman Jack. Uh, it gives you absolutely nothing apart from pleasure for this beautiful man. Okay, we'll see you later, Cameraman Jack. We're going to go over to this crane now over here. It's not even a crane. What the hell am I on about, Tom? I'm just going to shut up now and ignore that. But uh, yeah, this is um, more from uh, F1 Simulator 2019. I'm not going to call it Farming Simulator anymore. Um, I love how I've had some comments, actually, that have been correcting me on some of these vehicles. I mean, fair play. I mean, I know I, I know what, what vehicles they are. Here's another one, look. Here's another of these generators. Uh, and it's actually been placed perfectly. So Codemasters do know how to place them. Uh, they just haven't really placed them. Now, this is going to be a bit awkward here because I'm going to sort of be in the bounds. I'm pretty much in the bounds of the track here. But this is what the marshals get to look at. The, the thing is, though, it's, this is what I don't understand. Why the hell are you going to have a marshal by here? Like, really? I mean, it's not exactly as if he's protected. If someone goes through the lesbians and has a massive tyre failure and goes flying into this wall, your head's coming off, my friend. I mean, at this point, it looks like he's kind of useless. Anyway, what I would like to do is... How far... Is there anything back... Oh! Oh, this... I have nothing in them anyway. We're going to go around the outskirt of the track first, and then we'll go to that. Is there another... I want to... What I want to see is I want to see another cameraman. That's what I want to see. Also, as well, I want to Google the full entirety of the old track, because obviously I know the banking corner's there, but I can't remember the full old track. That's just a monitor, which has got me filming. Um... Some more trucks, and yet again a marshal with great protection there. More marshals. More uh, vehicles there to forklift my mum, for some reason. What we got over here? Another truck. Uh, literally, probably, this truck I reckon has got parking sensors. Mainly because at this point it's probably beeping the living shit out of the fact that this poor man with a... Awfully textured hat is about to die, but it's fine. So he's good. Let's continue onwards, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take a step back a second. What was that? This beautiful any any. Yeah, I'm gonna call it any. This any uh, piece. Yeah, nice lamppost. Do we extend it out? Hell yeah, we do. Let's give it an extra ten inches. It's going to eventually float, and you can see here that it is a little bit underneath, right? But this pole, I'm sorry, why do you need to go that far? <laughs> you don't need that much extra length for this. <laughs> you just lower, lower, lower. All you've got to do is chop the bottom piece of the pole off a little bit. But then again, what's the point? You know, if it's long, if it's long like that, you're never going to see it, so who really cares? I'm in the same boat. Like, I'm not complaining at Codemasters for not doing it. At the end of the day, I do it when I develop my games as well. Like, I'm developing a game at the moment, and I do the exact same thing. I make sure that pieces it is underneath the, the world. There's another TV monitor. I feel like I'm not really going to get much exploration from the outskirts here. Oh, hang on. It changes a little bit. Bit of a bank here, and an extra fence. When did this fence begin? Right here. Nope, it, it went for... Wait, what? Okay, yeah, this is a bit of an error from Codemasters. <laughs> if you're going to have a fence, it needs a pole to start on. This fence has no pole to start on. Just get rid of this and then start with the pole, because this should just be shriveled right now. Like my penails. Anyway, ignoring that. That was a bit, a bit too much information there. 
Um, then we've got a beautiful uh, generator, which is hidden behind a barrier, of course, because why the hell not? This marshal, oh, fair play. Yo, I rate this marshal's spot. He's got them blasting down towards the Ascari chicane. This guy's got the lot. And then, of course, we have the good old bank... Oh, my God. <sighs> oh, masters. Oh, there's my phone. Buzzing, as per usual in a recording. Let me shut that up. There you go, guys. If you want to explore the old bank of uh, Monza, they, uh, they did a bit, and then they got bored. <laughs> they did a wee bit, and then gave up. Fabulous. Right, let's... I'll come back to that. That's a bit upsetting. Let's continue anyway. Uh, just upsets me a bit. Through here. We now go across. Up towards the Ascari chicane. This is where I rolled my car a while ago. We got another giant TV monitor, which is going to have my filming on it. Um, yeah, and then we're up to the Ascari chicane here. There's not going to be a lot of stuff on the outskirts. Oh, hello. But there's not a lot on the outskirts. There's a little... Oh, hello. We've got a little bit in here, you know. Did they stick a person in here? He's... I bet you at this point, he's currently thinking about when I'm going to upload this video. She is then already... This video hasn't even been released yet. She's already applauding my fantastic video that I'm making right now. Grumpy so because they're at the top of my head. Would you really want to sit here though? Like, what do you get? Sure, this probably won't be in the way. You get, you just get the Ascarish cane and then, and then a bit. I wouldn't sit there. Even these higher seats, I wouldn't sit here if I was going to go to to Italy. I mean, I wouldn't go to the Italian Grand Prix anyway because at the end of the day, I'll be repping Mercedes merch and every single Ferrari fan there, which is the entire Italian Grand Prix uh, land. They would all uh, slice my nose off before I get a chance. Hey, you thought I was going to say something else when I said slice. Pff, wrong. Um, yeah, a couple of more little uh, tents in here for whatever you want to do. Uh, tent then goes towards the, one of the trucks that we've seen plenty of times before. We've got two different... Oh! Bollocks. I just put myself back in the map. That's a shame. If only I could do something to rectify that. Just do this. There you go. <laughs> that, that helps. I mean, I'm on a different side of the track now. Uh, again, why would you want to sit here? You don't really get anything. I don't even think these are actual seats. I think Codemasters just put them in. I could be wrong, though, because at the end of the day, there's a. you guys literally went ham, eggs, and bacon on the fact that, I mean, check out. It's just trees. I am going to explore those buildings afterwards. I am intrigued by them. But you guys went ham, egg, and bacon when I said that there was no, like, pool uh, or pond. I think it was the lake in the German Grand Prix, like at the, just on the start of the straight. And you guys just ruined my brain and just said that it was an actual thing. Got a little cathedral in here. I wonder if this is actually right next to the track. There's nothing inside though. Just a little cathedral there though. Nice little piece. With again, another, I'll show you where I'd sit if I was going to go to Monza. Let's just rise up a little bit though. Give myself some height. Okay, I mean, they've got a bit, they've got the outs, they've got a bit of the banking track, but they just didn't include all of it. They textured this bit and then gave up. Oh, wow, it really does stretch on for a long way. Whoa. I need to explore it fully. I can't remember the old Italian Grand Prix layout. I will explore it, though. Don't panic, guys. I'll get to it. I'll spend, like, five minutes off camera Googling the old layout so I can at least get a run for it. Okay, well, a couple more trucks around here. With some pieces. Um, we've got what looks to be a truck with bare bass boosted speakers. I know they're fans, don't judge me. Um, oh, this is the first time we've seen this. We've got some sweepers. Yo, that is nice. So they can clean up the track once I'm done with it. That's good. You might want to clean up all the debris that I left behind. I mean, these fans have got slightly better view. Because you can just... Actually, yeah, you know, this isn't too bad. The thing is, though, is you need them high. You want to be slightly above the fence, like up here. So you can see them blast their way through down towards the Ascari chicane. Fling on through there. And then see them... This isn't a bad seat. Unless you get a little bit higher up. But I don't know. Like I, said, I don't think you can get any higher than that. Moving onwards, though. Ooh. Oh, yeah, we can go in the paddock now, can't we? 
Let's do it. Right, what we got here? We've got grandstand seats. Again. What's the point? <laughs> you can't see anything. Uh, what have we got in here then? So we've got some more trucks and tents. A couple of trucks parked there. Bunch of trucks parked here with a couple of things. What is this? It's an inflatable igloo. That's what I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it the inflatable igloo. Guarantee you someone in the comments is going to tell me exactly what it... Oh. This is probably going to push me back in the map, but... I mean, there's a bridge that you can go across to get to the other side. So you can't actually go through the bridge. I mean, I'll do it anyway for recording purposes. Oh, no. It actually barriers you off. Because it's... It's like... Oh. Okay, then. Never mind. I won't go through it. Uh, more cars. Uh, I have to give Codemasters a 0 out of 10 for Formula 1 for... Wait a minute. Oh, that's just clever. <laughs> Their feet are under the ground. Yep. Yep. Nice one, guys. <laughs> it's everyone's feet under the floor. Yep. <laughs> They're all under the floor. Hang on, these guys' feet exist. Hang on, there we go. We found some legitimate people with feet. Oh, wait, no, it disappears again. <laughs> you have to be standing in one area to get... F oh, these guys have got feet. I'll tell you what, it's like a proper backstage paddock, this is. There's a lot of stuff, like, look at all this. There is so much. And we've also got the motorhomes as well, which I am going to investigate, because I want to see if Hass's coffee machine still exists. Look at all this. This is quite cool, I'm not going to... Let's go back up again. I'm not going to lie, this is really nice. I haven't seen a lot of all this stuff, but yeah. This is quite nice to explore. Another sweeper, so when people have poops. Oh. So we've gone from... Oh, these guys were... Oh, I'm a bit silly. These guys aren't on the floor. They're levitating. <laughs> okay. This truck at least is on the floor. We've got floating people then. Uh, let's put that into perspective. Thing is, is you can't... You can't diss Codemasters for doing this, because at the end of the day... Um, yeah, it's hot in my room, by the way. Uh, at the end of the day, like, are you gonna really see this? No. <laughs> well, that's what they thought until I found how you can do this. So, the thing what I love about this exploration series is it's one of the most popular things on my channel right now. My channel is growing really, really fast, and I really appreciate that. Like, I'm getting, like, 100 subscribers a day, which is, like, the most I've had in probably over a year, maybe a year and a half. And... You know, it, this came by a complete accident. I had no intentions of exploring racetracks. It was literally just down to the fact that I was doing a crash test video. And I still haven't even recorded that, by the way. Uh, and it got to the point when I could explore. These guys are also floating. So sweet. So yeah, Mercedes. We've got Ferrari and their trucks. Red Bull. I love the Red Bull and Taurus awesome at home. It's so nice. Renault. I actually found this quite funny. Someone, t I, saw, I saw someone in the comment section down below and they said that the Renault motorhome looks like two PCs. <laughs> there's one PC, there's the other PC. I kind of agree with it. And there's the coffee shop. Sweet. Yeah, these are all the same. And more people hiding under the floor. Nice. I mean, at least on other tracks, they weren't in the floor. Is this a grand... What is this? Is this a grandstand or is this... What I want to try and do is where's the podium? I want to try and get on it. That's what I... Thank you. What was I even on? Just some giant... Fuck's sake. Right, I'll go for the... Oh! Some people here. Sweet. If you don't mind me. I have just won the Grand Prix, everyone. So I'm going to come out onto the podium. Can I get up on here without... You bugger. Oh, wait. I can't squeeze on. Yeah! Come on! Yes! I'm, tr I'm being bullied off of... Do you know what? I'll stand here. Fair play. That's a beautiful... Imagine that, though. Like, you could just see it when you sit on TV. Like, all of the Ferrari fans, basically. Just all there. Just all with their Ferrari fa flags. The Italian flags. The, um... The red, you know... F flame. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, funnily enough, I actually managed to get myself back out of that. I want to see what this building is. This building looks... Sorry. Oh, for God's sake, stop pushing me back. This game is doing everything it can to stop me. I thought they were on something else then. Anyway, into here. Hang on a second, this isn't a grandstand, it's... 
Yo, I'd want to sit up here. Yes, please. How much could you see? You can see so much as they fly through. That's a beautiful seat. What I want to do, though, is I want to go and see the seat that I would sit at. If I ever went to Monza, uh, which is something that me and my dad really want to do. My dad's been to Monza. I haven't been yet. Uh, is I'd want to get a seat. Probably about, like, here, I'd say. Because if you think about it, you've got... If you get one up here... In fact, if you go a little bit further... What are these seats like over here? I love how I'm just judging what seat to sit at. If you go here, what have you got? Oh, I ain't got really anything. Back up to here. There's a grandstand that I would love to sit at. I think it's around about this... They were showing it anyway, but it's like you, you can... You go up towards here, you can see them fly through, down and towards foot. Like, you don't get much, but you'd get the overtaking. You'd get the lap one incident. What is that in the middle of the track? I don't really know. And you'd get that incident. And it'd just be really cool. We've got some more trucks here. And then we've got what looks like to be the old layout there. So, what I'm going to do now is I am going to... Do I explore the buildings first? Or... Yeah, go on, let's explore the buildings first. Why not? I mean, there's not going to be loads to them. Because at the end of the day, like, half of it is just Google Earth will uh, stick down onto the to the canvas. But we can have a look. I mean, we've got this house with a door that I'd love to get in. And then the garage as well. I mean, this, let's actually look at the house, for an example. That's what it looks like, compared to what it is now. Um, like I said, though, do you really need to model these? At the end of the day, like I said, it's just the overhead shots. You don't, you don't need them, really. I'm going to go a little bit lower, though, so you can actually see them. That's a nice little building. Hey, Galloway Tree. What is it? Okay, not too bad. I'm not gonna go inside all these buildings as well, because again, they're just gonna be plain textures. Oh, hello, you're floating, aren't you? You're floating quite heavily. Yep, shock. This building, I actually think is quite well textured, I'm not gonna lie. They've really put the texture into this building. I spent a lot of time on this, actually, for nothing. <laughs> Apart from, obviously, the pure basis of landscaping, which is what you need to do. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, though. Actually, this bu this building is quite... Actually, no. It did look nice, and then I come towards it, and it looks terrible. Which is awesome. What else have we got? Quite a lot here. Uh, let's see. These buildings... So you can see, look, how they sort of, like, pan out. So these are where the other buildings were. That's where a pool is, so if you want to go swimming. Um, but this is what they sort of do. They sort of just, when it comes to this type of landscaping, thing is though, is it's still not as simple as it looks to do it. But at the end of the day, all you got to do is just get Google Earth up, get the accurate map up, and then boom, Bob's your uncle. There's your texturing. That looks like an interesting garage over there that I'd like to go and explore. It's a bit far away, mind. There's quite a few of these buildings a lot. Is that the race cars? Oh yeah, that's where they are. Of course, I... Uh, I went past those and just flipped over and, and died, basically, in the in the process of it, because I'm a little bit of a pillock. Oh, it's taking me a while. Come on. Get over here. I want to see what is here. Uh, I can only go a little bit faster. Is this floating? No, it looks like it might be a tad bit under. Yeah, just a tiny bit under. Not too bad, then. Okay. Looks like a factory. And this looks like another bit of factory work. Probably like a for beer, maybe? Alcohol? Could be. I guess. Maybe. Genuinely ain't got a clue. Um yeah, anyway, I think pretty much that is like the terms of it. Yeah, you've got a couple of these same same styled buildings on the outside. Uh, and they sort of swoop around. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna quickly because like I said, my uh, memory is terrible. I'm going to quickly Google up the old Monza layout so I can go through the whole of it and see what still exists. Okay, so I've just Googled it now, and it is literally just the banking. This was just an old oval circuit. Didn't even realise, to be honest. So let's see what they've done. I think they've actually kept it, though, by the looks of it. Because the banking starts all the way up here. What I'm a bit upset about is they didn't do much with the banking. They sort of just left it alone. But... By the looks of it, as quite clearly shown, it looks like they have kept the whole bank. Yeah, they've kept it all in. That's nice of Codemasters, because I've seen other tracks where you sort of like... For example, you know, Hockenheim. You had the outskirts, and I mean, at the end of the day, all Hockenheim doesn't exist. But, you know, this they, they did this bit of the banking. 
which is quite nice. He also put a bloody fence through it, which is... Oh, I've just been pushed into the circuit. Son of a bitch! Shut. Let's uh, carry on through. Give me a second. Okay, I just got to the other side of the old banking, so it doesn't ruin me. But yeah, they left the uh, fence in inside the uh, the banking, which is clever, but, you know, at the end of the day. Um, and then it sort of just drops off by here. So they've obviously... Oh, it's... Oh, wow, it is literally just a plane. They didn't go... Is that two separate plane textures on one? No, it's... They're combined. They're, two, they're combined. But they literally left it as a full plane texture. This is what a plane texture is like. It is just a hollow piece. So how it works is you can see... The one piece is fully, you'll have a one fully textured piece on the top. And then if you go to the very bottom of that, then there's absolutely nothing there. And it's just plain and blank. It's quite an interesting piece. But anyway, moving alongwards though, you can see it just carries on. I wonder if it goes all the way around. This must have been quite big. So where was I? So I was at the sky. So yeah, I'm literally going down the entire straight right now. This is where I'm exploring. For some reason, my, my mind's gone blank. I thought that there was more than just the oval. And then I realised, to be honest, it's been a long weekend. It's not even the weekend, it's Tuesday. What am I, I don't even know. I'm just going to shut up. Stop judging me. Right, anyway. Let's go around. Does it loop around, like, fully? It does as well. But does it actually connect back? That'd be so cool if it does. And then the, egg, the entrance to the banking is just before turn one. I think it actually does, you know. I've got to get an over-the-top view uh, shot for this. Oh, wow. In fairness, it does look banked. If you go a bit higher up, it looks banked. But it's obviously not, if that makes sense. Um, and then, yeah, I think it's going to loop all the way around to the first piece of corner. Yeah, I mean, this is effectively, like, it didn't join on Parabolica. So around here, it then did in effect, join up by here. And then this is when it went onto the straight by here. So that's really cool. They actually did stick to it. Now what I'm going to do is see if the entrance to the banking is still there. So it's just before the chicane. Does it peel off? And I think it's that little bit there. But I want to obviously double check it first. In fact, you know what? Because I need to get I need to get onto the other side of the circuit anyway. And let's just go underneath. Because then I can get around. This is how you get around so simply. Up. Oh, no, I'm going to be in the pits. Oh, that was close. Nearly reset myself. There we go. And then it should start around here. In fact, it does. There it is. Because then it starts here. And then it's going to bank around. I mean, I know all this is, you know, part of the part of the grandstand layout now. But we should see it open for the bank. And then as we go around, trucks by there. And then, yeah, we get the whole banking then. There you go. Pop that around. And then it goes to obviously the bank point piece there. So it is all there. The entirety of the Monza Bank circuit is there. So yeah, it's completely fine, actually. I'm going to go to the top now so I can get a piece of the entire oval piece. But yeah, the entirety of the bank is there, which is absolutely... Alright then guys, so here we are then. We are now pretty much at the top of Monza. This is the entirety of the landscape of the game. Now this is what is this is what a lot of people find quite strange when they play these games, is you think about it. That's Monza. Now bear in mind guys, I have, if I just show this, uh, the standard zoom is 25 uh, millimeters or mm, megameters, whatever. I'm currently at 12.3 just so I don't have to go all the way up to the top. But you can see how much, like this is the track, how much extra landscaping is around. And you probably think to yourselves, what's the point in all of this? Like, unless you make an F1 open world thingy, you know, and some people have said that. But, you know, they're never going to do an F1 open world thing because, no, it just won't happen. Um, but this is what you have to do. Even if your level is absolutely tiny, you have to make a massively large landscape. And the reason for a massively large landscape is because of just the feel of the level. If you, ha if this landscape, right, if the landscape came all the way, you see where this roundabout piece is here, you just stopped it there. The problem is, is when you do these over-the-top shots and you see all these buildings and stuff, you have to have a big landscape for your level to the point where, even though your over-the-top shots are going to show everything, it doesn't show the rest. I mean, you can see the mountain points there, but there is confirmation, guys. 
there is the oval circuit. So it is all there. They've obviously taken shortcut with it, but they left it there and, and they did what they did. Um, but anyway, guys, that is pretty much me exploring Monza. I think I've gone through the pad. I went through the paddock. I went around the outskirts of the circuit. Most of the inside of the circuit is a tree. Um, it even has the little bit at the middle. You can see there just where they peel across, which is exactly the same as the uh, old layout. Um, but like I said, um, I really do appreciate the support on this series. You guys have been absolutely amazing when it comes to uh, just the likes, the, the comments, uh, the views as well. Uh, and like I said, we're gaining subscribers at a massive rate, which I didn't really expect. So to all you guys that have just joined uh, and are new to the channel, uh, I really do appreciate you taking the time to come along and watch my videos. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me. Uh, and I believe we're on about like 18,500 subscribers, which does mean that we're now about 1,500 subscribers away now from 20,000 subs. That has been my aim for the end of this year is to try and gain, uh, try and get 20,000 subscribers. So if you can help me try and hit that goal, uh, be sure to drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the channel already. Uh, if you enjoy the content, obviously, don't subscribe because you feel forced to. Obviously, I want you to enjoy the content and, and stick around. Um, but yeah, like I said, drop in the comment section down below what track you're going to do next. The most liked comment is the track that I will do. Uh, I will do every track on F1 2019, but I'm going to do it in the order and the guys in the in the order that you guys want me to do first. But yeah, this has been us exploring Monza, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, all. Peace.